actual wage growth, a steady labor force participation rate, and low unemployment will likely lead to additional rate hikes by the end of July. June marked the second consecutive month of year-over-year -year real hourly wage growth. This marks the first back-to-back -back months of gains since early 21. Consumers have been taking a beating over the past two years as inflation has outpaced wage growth by a large margin. Inflation began to rise back at the beginning of 21 before peaking in June of 22 above 9%, after which falling slowly to its most recent release below 3%. Couple those facts with the labor force participation rate remaining steady at its highest pre-pandemic level for four consecutive months and unemployment remaining relatively unchanged since March of 22 and the chances of a July hike seem probable. The feds will meet on the 25th of July and will likely hike rates another quarter percent, pushing the feds target rate close to a 22 year high. While hikes, arguably speaking, have contributed to easing inflation, they have also created an unfavorable borrowing environment. This ultimately has and will continue to slow the movement of certain capital intensive goods. This has been your Bridge Logistics Market Update for the week of July 17th, 2023.